Fans of Awesome. Today is Friday. It's actually Friday the 13th. <laughs> I would have made a more appropriate Friday the 13th video, but I only realized it was Friday the 13th a couple hours ago, so I couldn't really do anything. But I have salt here. I think you're supposed to throw it over your left shoulder. I just did that. Or maybe it's your right shoulder, so I'm going to do that over the right shoulder. I think it's a mirror, so this is, this is my right shoulder. I think that's good luck. Yes. Maybe. I haven't seen any black cats yet, so that's good. So today I'll be talking about Inside Out by Maria V. Snyder. Maria Snyder is the one who wrote the study series, Poison Study, Magic Study, Fire Study. Probably not in that order. But yes, those are good books. So I read this, and it's a dystopian novel. Very different from her study series, where it's about a world where everyone lives inside this big metal box, the inside, hence the title. And they're trying to figure a way to get out. They're trying to find a gateway outside. Inside this box, there are two groups of people. You have the lower class, called the lowers, who keep the box clean and livable for the upper class, the uppers. And the protagonist is Trella, who is a lower. Now, Trella is a sort of an outcast among the lowers because she keeps herself and she thinks herself better than them. And she often sneaks to the upper levels where she's not allowed. And in doing so, she discovers sort of secrets that the leaders have been keeping from the uppers and the lowers. And she begins to start to lead a rebellion of the lowers. As for my personal opinion of the book, I, I loved it. I thought it was unique for a dystopian novel. I mean, I have really haven't heard of the box idea before. Some of you might have, but it was, it was new to me. And especially the ending, too. The ending blew my mind. I, I can't say anything about it, but if you get far enough to get to the ending, you, you won't regret it. It was... Pretty spectacular. My only complaint would be is that the book dragged a little at times, but besides that, I thought that characters were well written, the book was well written, everything tied together neatly at the end. There's going to be a sequel next year called Outside In, which I can't really say what it's about because it would spoil the ending, but it's, look, it's going to be really good by the sound of it. Now, the theme of the week is incorrect stereotypes, and sort of two stereotypes about me that people might have is that I'm a teenage boy and that I'm a New Yorker. And for being a New Yorker, we're generally thought of as rude and sort of not really caring about others, which I found to be untrue to the extreme. I, I've met many New Yorkers who are kind, and the kind ones far outnumber the rude ones. Now, the other stereotype I mentioned, being a teenage boy, I found to be mostly true about me. We're sort of thought to be lazy and arrogant and immature. I don't think I'm arrogant as much, but I'm definitely lazy and I'm definitely immature. Like just an hour or two ago, someone dared me to eat a mixture of uh, whipped cream, hot sauce, salsa, cornflakes, milk, sauerkraut, chocolate syrup, almonds, all together, and I did it, and it was disgusting. I can still taste it in my mouth. It was one of the most disgusting things I've ever done, but I did it because someone dared me, and I'm immature, and I'm a teenage boy. But uh, I'm not supposed to be trying to prove stereotypes correct. One incorrect stereotype about me and other teenage boys is that we're not sensitive or that we don't have feelings. Which, I can see how people would think that because we generally do hide it. But we have feelings just as much as anyone else. And it's sort of insulting and kind of hurtful when people assume we don't because they take advantage of that. Or they think they can just do anything to us and, you know, we're teenage boys. We'll just, we don't care. So that's it for this week. I wish all of you the best of luck on Friday the 13th today. We don't have another one till May after this, so just make it through and then you're good for a while. If I live through the day, I'll see you all next week. Bye!